What's up guys, it's JT. Today I'm going to be bringing you a paint up video. I haven't done one of these in a in a minute. So we're going to be doing a uh, little mini popper in the breakout bluegill design. I've already done a tutorial on the breakout bluegill design on my channel, but I thought it might be a little bit different for a popper and I wanted to try it out. So yeah, with that being said, let's get into the video and start with a blue base coat. All right, so I've taken some opaque um, blue from Createx and thinned it up with some opaque white. And we're gonna be spraying around 35 PSI just for the base coat. Uh. That should be good. I'm gonna dry that and then do the belly. Uh, there's no good way um, to take it while it's wet to flip it to its belly, so I'll dry that and get back with you guys. All right, so I'm just gonna flip it um, like this, clip only here, and then that way I can spray that belly. Still that same shade of blue. I've ever explained it to heat set you just take a hair dryer which I cannot show to you guys well just take a hair dryer and just a couple seconds that um, that heat should dry it pretty fast and that paints already pretty thin um, so now let's let's throw some mesh on and spray for Now, um, the next part is to spray purple. Perfect color for that is Woods and Water Purple. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. This is by Badger. Um, you can pick this up uh, at backwateroutfitting.com. I'll leave a link in the description. Well, let's spray that purple. <laughs> and I'll get back with you guys. All right guys, so off camera, I put on that second mesh. That is the more, of course the vent came on right away, but sorry about that. That's just where I'm doing my work right next to a vent. Um, we're just gonna have to deal with that. Uh, I might put some music over some of this. Maybe not, who knows. But now we need to spray. Um, I think my approach, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do white first, so. Let's spray some white over it. All right, so let's spray white over um, everything I can.
so brown let's see let me find my brown i have two browns that i'm going to be using sapia and whatever you call that i'm not even going to try and pronounce that but i'm going to start with the sapia because it's the darkest So as you can see, we've got that top half. Uh, now we're gonna switch to the yellow and do the bottom half, like basically the rest of it. So quickly before that brown dries or that sapia dries, put in some yellow from Golden and do that. Like I said, I've already done this um, pattern on the channel, so I'll have that video linked in the description. This is just switching it up and doing it on a popper. All right, so now we have the brown into yellow fade. Now I'm going to switch to that nickel, nickel gold. I showed you guys that earlier. And we're just gonna spray that little dividing line to help it fade a little bit. Because this is like right in between yellow and brown. It's more on the brown side, but. It is more of a golden brown. Perfectly. Now, I actually noticed that this side's yellow is a little bit darker than this side's yellow. If you guys can see that on camera. So I'm just going to go get the yellow and, and spray again. But that's it for the gold. Alright, so let's fix that yellow, yellow lightness problem. Now that yellow's nice and bright on both sides. Here's the fun part. I get to take off the wrap and see um, if I failed the wrap or if it worked great. And when it works great, it looks pretty cool. All right, so this bigger wrap off first. See those purple lines? And then this wrap off second. Okay. So, not exactly what I was expecting. Um, it looks about the same color between the two, which isn't really supposed to happen. I still think this looks really cool though. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray that, um, that navy top. And um, do that gill, and then do this front part here. So, this is a breakout gill, but the purple and um, bright blue aren't as defined. It's fine, it's a popper. It's not like, it's in the water like the, the crankbait or, or something like that. Pull that pressure back to about 15 PSI. That way I'm not spraying so much paint and I can spray right on this little gill right here. You see this? I'm gonna be spraying that in navy also. So. All right guys, I'm sorry about that. My phone actually died. All I did um, when the camera was off was painted these um, navy blue gills here. Um, so now all that's left is this front part here. My approach to this, since it's got already, already colors on it, is I'm gonna spray some opaque white on it first. There we go. You guys can see that um, really quickly. All right, so the yellow is ready to go. All you gotta do is spray that over it. There's your eyes, bright orange. 
I'll let those dry for a little bit and then we'll clear coat. Here's the completed lure um, with all the clear coat, those eyes, the hooks, and everything. The only change I made was some of the clear coat took off this little section right here, right by the split ring. So I just painted over it navy so you couldn't tell as much and then clear coated it again. So uh, this bait total has two clear coats and then three on the bottom here. But everything is popping. You have that navy back. Switch it over to this side. You guys can see those colors all show nicely. Front's nice and yellow. And everything looks on point. So um, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little paint up. And um, it was just cool to do a design I've already done on a different kind of lure and see how it comes out. So. Yeah, thanks again for watching. Make sure to leave me a comment, like the video, subscribe, and tune in for next week's video.